Hello. Today I'm going to start off by talking to you about how to create a custom report. So as you can see here, we have the dialog for creating a custom report. And I'm going to talk you through the different options you have for creating a report um, and, and all the different reasons why you might want to create one report versus another. So I'm going to start off here by talking about the different database options that we have uh, within the custom report. So as, when, I, when I pull down this drop down, you can see there's many different types of databases. So I'm going to try to walk you through each one. Starting off, application statistics. Um, application statistics, as well as the traffic summary and threat summary, are the different types of summary databases. Now, what a summary database is, is, is essentially a database made specifically for reporting. These databases are summarized every 15 minutes, every hour, every day, and every week for the different types of traffic, either application statistics, traffic logs, or threat logs, um, giving you an option to quickly report, create a report on, um, for example, trends of data. Whereas if you see the traffic logs, the threat logs, data filtering logs, URL logs, those are detailed logs. So if you're trying to create a report that is specifically based on something that you're looking for something specific, you're going to want to use the detailed logs. For all other reports, you're going to want to use one of these summary databases. All right, from here what I'm going to do is walk you through the rest of the different options you have in the dialog for creating a custom report. So um, you can schedule reports. That's uh, one of the options here. You can choose your time frame um, from anywhere from 60 seconds to a month to a custom time period. You can choose how to sort the data or how to group the data in the actual report. Um, and just a note here, if you choose a different database, um, you have different options in which you can sort and group by. So now I'm going to talk to you, talk you through creating a custom report. So I'm going to start off by showing you another feature with custom reports, which is called a uh, load template. And what this is is a listing of all of our built-in reports. And so I'm going to choose one here, which is uh, top users, and click load. What that does is it preloads the built-in report called top users, um, which is a traffic summary report um, sorted by sessions, etc. As you can see here, but I'm going to customize it by changing the time frame. Um, I'm going to give it a, a name so we can differentiate these, these different reports because we're going we're to customize this in just a second. But here's what the default one looks like. So uh, essentially, it's a, it's a report that is the top users by sessions. Pretty simple thing here. So let's say I want to modify this now. I want to I take it to the next level. I, th this one I can get. It's built in, but it's a template. It's where, it's where you might want to start from. So, so now let's say um, I want to jump in here and, and, uh, um, and add something. So I'm going to add application. So you can either click add there with that, that little uh, symbol there, or you can double click on the application itself. I'm going to move it to the top of the list, and now I'm going to rerun it as test2. So now what this is is the top users by um, by sessions uh, showing what the top application is that they're using. So um, as you can see, there was a, a couple there by uh, by DNS. But what I want to do now is show you how group by works. So um, you can group by many different items here. But I'm going to start off by showing you what group by looks like for applications. So now I'm going to run a report, which is um, by sessions, the top users grouped by application. So now you can see. I have all the users sorted by sessions and all the different top applications that these users are using. So um, from here, what I'm going to do is, uh, is, is go a little further. I mean, we saw that DNS has shown up a lot, but maybe DNS is not something that you're really concerned about in your network when it comes to uh, sessions. So what I'm going to do is create a filter within this report to uh, remove DNS. I'm going to say uh, application does not equal DNS. I'm going to uh, further restrict the, the policy here, uh, the, the report, and run again. So now you can see that it's the same report that we saw before, but as I scroll down, you can see that DNS has been removed from, from this report. So now, uh, now let's, let's further restrict this, let's further customize this, uh, this report and say, um, who is my top user um, by sessions for web browsing? Um, it's Janet Godfrey here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, OK, what, is, what else is Janet Godfrey doing? So if I add a filter to, um, to further restrict this report, so I'm going to leave that filter in that says DNS, because I don't, I don't care that she uses DNS, but I'm going to add Janet Godfrey in as a, a source user. 
and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this again, um, call this one test5, and and see what else Janet is doing. So now Janet, uh, in this particular case, is um, is using uh, eight different applications, and you, know, you can see all of her utilization. So um, overall, pretty cool way to create custom reports. It uh, shows you the customizing capabilities that you have with custom reports, um, and it shows you that you can put in queries just like you can in the log viewer above and the monitor tab to create very customized reports um, for anything that you're trying to do. So, With that, I'd like to thank you for spending the time to learn about how to create a custom report. Hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon.